Hey everybody, this is Chris McCoy from youth 3 uh, We are going to install Repetier Host today, uh, specifically for a, a printer bought Simple Metal, uh, but this is a generic software that can be used for many 3D printers. So this will be a short and quick video on how to install it and get it up and running quickly. Okay, so just to remind you, there's three major steps to 3D printing. Uh, there's the computer-aided design component, which is where you either download files for 3D printing or you make your own. Um, you know, programs are like SolidWorks, um, uh, Autodesk, Inventor, uh, Blender, etc. Um, and there's the step called slicing or pre-press, where you actually turn that 3D CAD file into a bunch of 2D layers uh, that can be 3D printed. Um, and then lastly, we have our 3D printer. Uh, in this case, it's the PrinterBot Simple Metal. So we are installing this slicing program, which also does uh, control as well. Uh, so I guess I should modify this plus control for the uh, Repetier Ho. Just keep that in mind. And then um, again, again, it's a generic installation uh, for slicing and 3D printing. And the way you sort of configure this, uh, which we'll have in another separate video per 3D printer, but um, it's basically in your settings. You can create different printers with different build volumes. Uh, you can see that this printer here, where's my mouse? Um, I guess I can't drag it around uh, to show you, um, but nevertheless, um, that uh, that square grid uh, plate on your right hand side is the actual the build volume, uh, the build platform for a printer about simple metal. So, without further ado, let's download and install Petier Ho. So, if I come down here to Google Chrome. Uh, let's go to download Repetier host. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here so we can all see it. Um, so if we go to download now, I, uh, let's just see what happens. Um, the folks at Repetier host actually support this software free of charge. Uh, and so they ask for donations. So we might see that here in a minute. Uh, we want Repetier host for the Mac, at least in this case, we're doing it on a Mac. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and download, go to downloads, save, and hopefully you have a high speed internet connection like we do here. So this will take a few minutes to download. Um, but again, uh, you know, consider downloading to these folks, uh, Repetier, uh, the soft, well, many of the generic software providers for slicing and, th you know, some of this freebie CAD design, they're going fallow, uh, mainly because a lot of people just do this open source software development, don't get any money, and they can't really survive off that. So uh, again, if you if you have a couple extra bucks, or you really like what Repetier is doing after you use this uh, you know this software, consider downloading or uh, sorry um, donating to them. Uh, definitely worthwhile and keeps them afloat. Um, so anyway, we're downloading here. So it's gonna take a few more minutes. Um, other slicing programs are Cura. We have an installation. Uh, video on Cura. Um, there's another MakerWare is traditionally for MakerBot 3D printers. Um, you know, uh, there's Kiss Slicer as well, uh, which is now also coming uh, back into development. Uh, they have a free and premium version. So definitely check a lot of these out. We'll have a list to all these different slicing programs on our website at u3d.com forward slash learn. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. It's going to verify finishing. Okay, I'm going to double click and it should open up. Okay, because it can't be opened because it's an unidentified developer. Okay, so I have to go into my settings for my Mac, um, system preferences, security and privacy. I have to unclick this and I have to give my password. And then uh, I want to just select anywhere, off of anywhere. Okay, and then I'll go back. Now if I go back here, it should open up. Yep, go ahead and open. So you can follow these first steps, introduction, configuration. Um, feel free to read those on your own time. This is, seems to be new uh, since the last installation file, so I'm going to close that out. Uh, make this a little bigger here. Looks like we're good to go. Uh, good, you know, buying Divi, or you can wait for the demo to let you hit demo to make it full screen. Um, so there you have it. There's the generic build plate, build volume. You can see that uh, our printer settings are to a default. Um, in the next video, we're going to show you how to set this up for a printer bot, simple metal. Um, but again, 
you import your parts in here, uh, your CAD files, and the typical file type for 3D printing is what's known as the STL file, short for stereolithography. Uh, you then slice with a given slicer. You can choose your different slicers, and we'll be talking about the configuration of all this in the next video. Um, and then we have a G code, right? Once you slice it, you generate what's called G code, which is sent to the printer. And then you have your printing control, um, you know, your control features. So how do you move the machine? How do you calibrate it, et cetera, turn on the extruder? So in the next video, we'll talk about all that. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.